In the meantime, Lakers super fan Snoop Dogg was on Instagram and wrote, never thought I'd say it, but we're sorry the Clippers are better than us. Frank Vogel can't coach. Why the blank is Montrez Harrell not getting any run? This is heartbreaking. You see it all. He says we're soft. Jalen Rose, Snoop Dogg says the Lakers are soft. Jalen Rose, is he right? Don't feed into Snoop's unhappiness with his longtime love of the Lakers. This is just him challenging his team. Trust me, Snoop Dogg has purple and gold draws on right now as he's watching this segment. Don't fall for that. He's trying to encourage his team. And by the way, Greeny, they're going to need it. I was on here yesterday, and I told you the Suns would win, but I also told you LeBron would be aggressive. The Suns won. LeBron wasn't aggressive. He was passing the basketball. He wasn't getting back on defense. There were multiple times it was a four-on-three break, and he was the old guy in the backcourt. It was a five-on-four break, and he didn't cross half court. He looked a little fatigued. The team looked a little overwhelmed. And how about Devin Booker scores 18 points in the first quarter. The entire Los Angeles Lakers team scores 10 points in the second quarter. Dennis Schroeder and KCP had as many points as you and I combined. <laughs> That's just unacceptable. So let me ask you this, because Kendrick was on here, Kendrick Perkins, a little earlier in this hour, saying he thinks LeBron just got super frustrated with his role players early, and that was why he appeared not to have that much energy last night that you and I both expected him to have. Is that what you saw? Oh, oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That, that, that ain't how this works in the league. No, 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 no. You ask any player, what is it like to have a championship? Or what is it like to have multiple championships? The next question is, hey, what kind of guy is Bill Russell? Tell me a Kareem story. Tell me something about Magic or Berg or LeBron or Wade or Shaq or Kobe or Tim Duncan. No, uh-uh-uh-uh. This is a superstar-driven league. The role players are allowed to flourish when the superstars are playing at their maximum. And LeBron James was not doing that yesterday, so therefore the role players also were not doing that yesterday. And it wasn't because Chris Paul had a great game. He had single-digit points and left in the third quarter. Devin Booker got him off to a great start, but really it was the Lakers' lack of, lack of hustle. They, they looked uninspired, unenthusiastic. And Snoop has touched on something in his IG post that I've been saying. The Lakers have so much depth that the sixth man of the year, Montrez Harold, is getting DMPs. So I don't want to hear nothing about their lack of role players. I don't want to hear nothing about their lack of depth. Yes, of course, you need Anthony Davis, in my opinion, if you're going to advance in this series. But that is no excuse for being down 30 points at the half on the road in the playoff game. I'm with you. Let me ask you about AD. You saw Charles Barkley last night, you know, says he's Anthony Street Clothes Davis because he's always in street clothes. And that's funny, whether it's fair or not, it's funny. But is it fair, Jalen? Is criticism of AD right now fair? Some players are injury prone, Greeny. Joel Embiid has missed playoff games the previous two seasons, and he may miss his team's next game. Chris Paul has been hobbled this series. And when you look back at his past, there have been playoff times where he's been hurt. The same with Anthony Davis. Certain players have a history of, in, of injury. It doesn't take away from their greatness, but it does acknowledge the fact that there are certain times when New Orleans probably needed him when he was not able to go. Now, the Lakers need him. I believe he will find a way to go in game six. I'm not counting out the Lakers. I heard what LeBron said. I heard him say shoot all of his bullets and throw the gun. So I'm waiting to see if that's going to happen in game sixes and sevens. Okay, so that's a team with their backs against the wall. I want to talk about one other thing with you today, and that is a Knicks team that has its back against the wall, playing game five tonight at home against the Hawks, a series that has been intense. And I want to play for everybody what Hawks center Clint Capella had to say about the Knicks' physicality in the series. Here was Capella. Better play tough. I mean, uh, push our guys around and talk shit, but uh, we, we can do that too. Uh, and we show them uh, as soon as they, they, they came back here that we can push guys around too. Uh, we can talk as well. So what are you going to do about it? And we can get a win with it. So what are you going to do about it? I was just saying like, bro, I'm 32 years old, bro. I, 
I never talked like that in my life. And I'm not going to start now once Clint Capella's like start talking crazy. Jalen <laughs> Rose, what do you think? I think this is playoff basketball. And I think I love the blonde in Clint Capella's hair. Remind me of the artist Kwame. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. But in all honesty, here's what it is. The New York Knickerbockers were celebrated for having an amazing season and outplaying expectations, and rightfully so. But so did the Hawks. And they're on their second coach this season in Nate McMillan. And here's what Capella is talking about. When you actually watch the physicality that's happening up front, Clint Capella, Collins, Gallinari, and Hunter are all bigger and physically more opposing than the person that they're playing against for the Knicks. And when Julius Randle gets in this isolation situations, they bring a big, strong side that basically provides a help defender, and that's why they grab every rebound when the Knicks miss. So I predicted that the Hawks would win this series, but the Knicks, like Bullock right there, you can't lose your cool. You just can't lose your cool when you're losing on the road. And then Julius Randle wanted to have his teammates back, and then he got ejected for the Knicks. Come back home, appreciate playing in front of your fans, find a way to take the next game. Do you think they will? Uh, the Hawks, clearly, you're saying they're the more physical, and they're obviously better. Do you think the Knicks extend the series tonight? I do think the Knicks extend the series, but Trey Young will find a way to make sure the Atlanta Hawks advance past the Knicks in this series. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.